This is the center drive shaft support bearing from my GMC FC 253 one ton truck. Uh, the bigger trucks use the open drive line as opposed to the torque tube used on the half tons. And uh, I rebuilt this before we before I started doing the videos, but it's pretty straightforward. There's a rubber cushion that sits inside this metal housing. So you got the rubber cushion here, and then you've got the bearing, the actual uh, cartridge bearing that's in here. And then these, they're on each side, they're like dust shields. Got them right here. And um, what you do is, I when I did it, I took a piece of three inch pipe and placed it on top of the, the rubber uh, cushion and drove it out in a press and it does destroy the rubber cushion it just the pipe kind of cut into it and ripped it and then pushed the whole thing out make sure you don't damage these you can find more of them but um you know mine were mine were okay to reuse so don't hurt those once this is rubber cushion is pressed out you know you can tear it apart and get the old bearing out and then the way i got these off is they just kind of I don't want to say they press onto the bearing, but they're they're on there pretty tightly. And I kind of just rested them in the vise, you know, so they hooked onto the edge. You know, I had this, I had it open, right? And uh, you kind of drop them on there so they hook onto the edge. And then you just kind of tap the bearing, you know, and you turn as you go. And you just kind of work it off. You know, they're on both sides. So you just, you got to be careful. You don't want to, they're thin. They're kind of like sheet metal. So you don't want to, you don't want to grab them with pliers or pinch them in the vise or anything like that. But you get them off, you get your new bearing. They still make them. Uh, I forget the part number, but I can put it in the comments. But uh, you get the new bearing, you put the dust covers back on, and then the manual for this truck says to, um, rub brake fluid on the inside of the rubber cushion and on the outside um, you squeeze the bearing into the rubber cushion you can do that by hand you just kind of push it and work it in there it's got like a little recess it pops in um, the brake fluid helps lubricate it and then you coat the outside of it and then you press it into here and you got to be careful uh, if you're using a piece of pipe you don't want to cut into the new cushion uh, so I just pushed very carefully, and once it gets in there, there's like a recess that it snaps into and off and running. I was getting driveline vibration. The old one was very loose and kind of, you know, sounded like an old skateboard. new one's nice and smooth and tight. You know, it hangs like this from the frame. And uh, the short front half of the drive shaft goes into it, and, um, and then the back half goes through here. Pretty simple.